Last year, Sean Conan told us he was the fastest hooker in the world. Is he still the fastest? Yeah, I reckon so. Anyway, he's definitely a lot quicker than me. Um, yeah, in fairness, I'd say he's probably quicker than these two boys on my left as well. <laughs> probably. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you think will be the hooker for Ireland this year? Um, there's a couple of uh, great options, but like, can't go past Sean Crown or uh, like even in Leinster alone, there's James Tracy, Brian Byrne as well. Like so, like. I'd be hopeful that one of the hookers in Lancer might get a shot. Um, but yeah, Sean Crown has been brilliant uh, for the last couple of years for Ireland. And then uh, behind him, there's like Nas Gannel as well, and then uh, Rob Herring up in Ulster as well. So yeah, there's a couple, there's a couple of options in that position anyway. But yeah, we'll see. Uh, we'll see what happens. That's a nice diplomatic answer. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody would be happy with that one. <laughs> Do you ever take a rest or play a trick on you? Ooh. I, uh, I'm only I'm only in Leinster a couple of years now, so I haven't built up the courage to pull a few pranks on them just yet. But you know, uh, maybe in the future. What's it like recovering from a serious injury? Uh, it, it it was tough. Um, you know, there were some times where you just thought do you really want to get out of bed again <laughs> like you know especially when the progress is so slow um, and and like every step you take is is always like small improvements but um, I guess you got to find a way to just try and celebrate all the little things that that um, that work and and um, it was a good learning curve as well I learned a lot about myself is there anybody in turn that you avoid tackling practice and why? Uh, yeah. <laughs> There'd be a few of them. Uh, a few of the big boys anyway. Uh, the likes of uh, the likes of Lowy and stuff. Uh, just big big man who can shift. It'd be like very difficult to tackle him. And then uh, a few other of the back rowers in particular as well, yeah, wouldn't like tackling. <laughs> Uh, did you always want to be a rugby player, or is this just a backup job? Uh, <laughs> no, I always wanted to be a rugby player. Um, growing up, uh, just when I started playing, I started playing when I was four, and just loved it, and then decided like this is what I wanted to do, and then just worked hard trying to get there. Joe, thanks to have a huge squad of talented players, do you ever get annoyed with the coaches when you're not selected? No, I never get annoyed. I, I'm... I'm a little bit older than everyone else now, so I sort of appreciate um, the rest. <laughs> Ron Hugo, were you on any Leinster development squads as you grew up? Uh, I, no, I actually didn't play any age grade um, rugby with Leinster at all growing up. Um, so I just played away at my school. And then um, after that, because uh, I, I was, got injured a few times when I was younger, and luckily enough, uh, Peter Smith, who was the academy manager when I was there, just kind of took a chance on me. So I was very lucky in that way, yeah. Um, I played in Lansdowne first and then I moved to, I went to Black Rock, so I played in school there. But I didn't make the Leinster under 18s or under 19s, but then luckily enough, I uh, made the Leinster under 20s then and uh, yeah, kicked on from there, thankfully. Yeah.